Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Lawyer Interviews, your source for legal news, gossip, and professional insights. In part one of our Aiden Ross series, we discussed Aiden Ross and his strained relationship with the streaming platform Twitch. Today, we're going to dive into Aiden's blockbuster new deal with Twitch's new rival, Kick. Yeah, so everyone watching this, make sure to go back and check out that first video for context. And then while you're at it, you might as well subscribe to our channel. Jeff, don't be desperate. I'm just going to dive in. Kick is a new streaming service that is still in beta. It's marketing itself as a creator-friendly service and distinguishing itself from Twitch in two ways. No ambiguous bans and a 95 to 5% creator revenue split. For context, Twitch offers creators a 50-50 split. Wow, that's really generous. But, you know, another reason that I think Aiden signed that two-year deal with Kick might have to do with the $150 million that they're offering to pay him. Now, this might seem like a lot of money for us, but apparently it's not enough for Aiden to move full-time over to Kick. Correct. And Aiden has publicly stated on his platforms that Kick would need to pay him even more to completely ditch Twitch and be exclusive with Kick. Now, I have to respect uh, this negotiation tactic, telling his millions of followers what Kick needs to do to secure him. You know, I agree. And I think he's actually playing both sides here. Uh, he's also leaked in his videos to his followers that a lot of other high profile streamers are considering leaving Twitch. So maybe this will encourage Twitch to offer him him a juicy counter offer to stay on his platform and maybe stop banning him <laughs> i agree so cynthia what do you think are some of the risks involved with aiden moving over full time to kick well it's a brand new service still in beta testing aiden can put himself in a real bind if kick goes under and he's already left twitch yeah, that's right. And, uh, you know, another big risk is that Kick claims it'll have little to no moderations of speech on its platform. Now, obviously, Aiden and his followers love this. Aiden says, hey, people can say whatever the hell they want in our chat. Uh, but hear me out. This could attract like the worst kind of people. And they'll say horrible things that even Aiden Ross himself disagrees with. Now, Kick under pressure might be forced to change its policy or worse, it'll end up going out of business. And wouldn't that be ironic? Well, oh. the honeymoon between Kick and Aiden Ross might already be over. <laughs> Next time, we're going to discuss Aiden's potential legal trouble from streaming the Super Bowl and why Kick could leave Aiden high and dry. Thanks for watching and see you next time.